night, everyone. The suffering continues. You're, you're excited and invigorated off your break. No, I've checked out, fam. Yeah, I'd noticed that. Oh, look, there's a toilet there. Quick, go for your obligatory piss. Okay. Only because he told me to. I'll look at all the options. Um, can I ask why there's um a mini bar price set for toiletries? Yeah. More telling it. It's a wash stuff. Bath mats for ten dollars. I think it's to wash though, isn't it? Yeah, drugs. Are they complimentary? I still don't understand why all these motherfuckers are on drugs though. Maybe that's what David Cage thinks the world's like. Why could I see through him? <laughs> or was it supposed to be filthy mirror? I don't know. It's interesting looking to David Cage's psyche this really, isn't it? Hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Unsettling looking to David Cage's psyche. I am quite pleased that he didn't there's not a he can only go for a piss and not a shit though. Well, you were saying about the Sims comparisons earlier, and I guess we're not going all the way. Well, yeah, but they pixelated that stuff out. Yeah, the water in here would be like full graphic display of it, wouldn't it? Big, big jobby. <laughs> I'm going to wipe it off. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. Excellent. Engaging gameplay. Oh, fridge! My favourite pastime. Oh, that's disappointing. And that's how my meal ends. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't tickle you. That. According to our sources, a child disappeared. That's not how newsreaders work. Just look down. <laughs> According to our sources, then we're to read the entire section of this while facing the floor. Why can no one say origami? It's origami killer. It's all like they're all infected the same disease that Nam and Jaden's got in it. It's the oregano killer. Oregano. Yeah, that's an American thing, that, isn't it? Cilantro. Is that cel uh, not celery? Uh, parsley, sorry. No. What is it then? Coriander. Oh, that's all that. Coriander? I think it's coriander. It's not parsley. It's one of the leafy ones. Yeah, that's parsley. Parsley's a leafy one. Well, they're all leaf ones, aren't they? They're all made of plant. Yes, plants are made of plant. See, Apparently I'll, now I'll... they all scream, though. That's what? what? Did you not read that um No, the answer, the answer is always no, I haven't. Oh, there's an article where the plants scream when they're in stress. Excellent. Shall we carry on with this video game? Oh, vegans are fucked up now. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're going to eat. <laughs> Well, I've got to very jitterily <laughs> open this box. Is he allowed to? What's he expecting in there? A child. It's a gun. And a bear. A bear? Oh, is it an origami bear? Sorry, an origami bear. How come he's got... Oh, they've got numbers. Oh, yes, let's only pick up the gun. Pick up the most incriminating thing first, obviously. Do we have to unagami it? I don't know, but surely the first thing you would do... Go to the police? Yeah. It's not like there's a big thing on it saying, don't inform the police. I think we've covered that. Are you prepared to show courage to save your son? Parking lot. But want that number three? Want that from the dude at the convenience store? Yes. So why was that going to help? How do you know which one's this? Well, he doesn't know that because that was Shelby that was doing that business. Yeah, no, but how does he know it's his son? And didn't they all have different ones? Yeah, but this was sent to him personally because he got the letter with the locker key card in it, didn't he? That is the most bored child I've ever heard. He's really unenthused by this kidnapping. Maybe he's played the game.
Ooh, actual gameplay where this oh, story, not gameplay, never gameplay. Oh, it's a David Cage game, never gameplay. But do I have to work things out? Do I get to play? Oh no. You know when I said at the start that the only gameplay is the wait, 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 that that really is all all the gameplay. There's nothing more to it. Why don't why don't you have to figure stuff out? Why are you not going to the police, you <laughs> knobhead? Cause he'll he'll, he'll drown his bored son before they get there. He'll find out or something. I don't know. I mean, how's he gonna work out where his kid is? He can't even keep fucking eyeball on him for more than three seconds before he loses his train of thought. What's his end game? Even if he does get his son back, he'll just lose him again in a few weeks. He'll probably forget and walk out. He'll go in and go, I found him, and then wander off. <laughs> No wait, this is the wrong one. I wanted Jason back. The killer is white. Age between thirty. And Let's not start that again. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a. How do the noise thirty to forty-five? He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. Well, what That's clicker. why he covers their faces with mud to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. It's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Where did you go to school to learn how to be a policeman officer? What the fuck? The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. Written. One detail it's on the cover. My attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take ten percent. Always at six inches, <laughs> apart from it's not. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murder. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives. So have you investigated that one origami store yet? Any complications arise. No. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And what size is this uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square miles. Great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. So what's next? <laughs> There's two suspects whose psychological profile might fit so and awkward, isn't it? the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. He's right. <laughs> Self-awareness. Mm. Not sure. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is not origami one. Organized and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! <laughs> That's enough. These are real people. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. <clears throat> How much time do I we have? I bet he gave him six inches. Let's not start that again, please. right. Roughly 72 hours. Right, so we've got a ticking clock now. So now we've got two suspects, and these two, who clearly don't like each other, are going to knock on some door. They're the original loud couple. Oh no, don't. <laughs> no answer. We waste our time coming here. I don't think that's how investigative police work works, is it? Maybe we have They're not in, let's give up. Anyway. It's clearly not them. There is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Not sure, no, that, that is entirely illegal. 
and anything you can find in there now is now useless. Tainted. You absolute nobbins. Oh dear. Well. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. No, that's not what I'd say. He's a god fearing idiot waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. But the Jeebus, by any chance. So why is he picked out for this? Well, that's what I mean. Maybe it's just because he's white and he's between 30 and 45. <laughs> that's still a fairly wide catchment area for suspects. No, maybe it? there's just two of them. <laughs> but those two are white. And, and probably between yeah. 30 and 45. They just go to sleep in bed. Would oh. you want to? No. Oh, fridge, fridge. No. Because I just cupboard. Nice cupboard. It's a cupboard fridge. Oh. Oh, look, another drug user. There's a lot of goodies in there, though. Why is everybody off their tits on drugs? Are you talking about the characters or the dev stuff? Well. We're already in, mate. It's funny, that, because I don't have any locks on the inside of my house. No. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. And that's just you. <laughs> you don't have to be a pro violent to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. What? How? The guy's taking a break from reality. Hold up here in this crazy apartment. It's stifling in there. <laughs> Those windows haven't been opened in years. I think I might have done that in the wrong order. Oh. Is there a toilet? There is. Do you know what you need to do? I think, I don't think you're allowed to piss in your suspects toilet. Drugs? Yep. No, multivitamins. <laughs> the guy's got a lot of vitamins. No, what about one actually did say multivitamins? I don't know. But only one of them. Another thing is, he's not there, but nine million candles are on, like, on fire. Yeah. That's probably a... Hello? There's <laughs> a fridge. You've got your fridge. No, it's more drugs. Oh, what, the fridge though? But there is a fridge, that's a fridge. Yeah. It does look like a fridge. I guess we've not found anything here. No, I know what we're looking for, really. A child. Oh, look. Jeebus has come back. And you didn't hear that? No. <laughs> you can't, I'm going to casually watch. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. The angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. Norman. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Because God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. See, only a guilty person would immediately come out and say that. Innocent. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. You didn't think he's already there, didn't he? Mm. Where do you work, Nathaniel? Do you have a job? Do you involve killing kids? Soul occupation is praying to the all merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. I don't think that will pay well. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4 30 p.m.? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? Jesus. No. It was no, a I was clear running. leading to that one. Though. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? What's with all the dusty particle effects that's going on? We know who talks. Very it's next gen. But we both mm, know who talks. No. It's like something's been on fire, but nobody's bothered to put it out. <laughs> Look all candles. Something probably has been on fire. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find new friends. I guess Blake's trying to break you, but what good is a confession if he does? Well, you broke in, so it's 
pointless. Yeah. Maybe, Blake, maybe Blake knows what he's doing after all. You must mention him. You'll bring him here. Bring who? He told you to go and find that kid in the park. Shit! The Blake is totally out of his mind. I can't just stand around and do nothing. Okay, let's... Blake, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? That's enough. So you obeyed them to make him What's Blake looking for? Why is he pushing him? That's That's enough. Right. Leave him alone. I mean that that is just attacking a suspect. Stop. You killed them. Didn't you haven't shot him yet? Are you going to confess your Don't they shoot first? He, he's kicking him. But he hasn't shot him. You were the antagonist. Okay. 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 Can I shoot the detective instead? He is the son of Satan. He was sent to work to destroy us. For Christ's sake. Shoot! You're not gonna kill the Antichrist with a revolver, Nathaniel. He's much too powerful for that. Antichrist, my ass! Get that gun out of my face! Keep calm. Everything is gonna be fine, Nathaniel. Team, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Okay. I. Shot him. Yep. Yep. It looks like you did. Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on. And how are we explaining this? We're just gonna leave. Can I just let him shoot the other cop, shouldn't I? Because he's a knob. How can you just chill him and just walk off? Well, that's it, we're done now. They want him. So. So we'll kill him. They're also suspect eliminated. Good police work, boys. Excellent police work. Take him away, Americans toys. finest. Americans finest. <laughs> not America, American. Oh god, we're back to this guy. I'm not being funny, but are you sure this isn't like a rip-off of uh, that Elena Wag? Because the cars are quite similar. Well his car is, but just because he's broke, I'm assuming. I thought I said bowels then. <laughs> well he could <laughs> be Asthma and bowels. He's gonna complain <laughs> about his health. He's gonna no, he's just sneezed <laughs> and then he shit himself. <laughs> it was a glitch fart. Maybe she knows something about or a shit fart. Mm. Or some theft. Ah. Asthma free for the moment, you're loving it. It didn't kill your asthma. No, I think he's on about asthma. He likes some ass. No. no. Oh, fridge! You've got uh, an all healthy like affiliation with as as David Cage. Bridges. Let's just walk around the house with nothing to fucking do. <laughs> I was told this was an interactive experience. I was trying to interact. Okay. With nothing. Motherfucker. Let's break it with this character as well. <laughs>